Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, in this video I'll go through how to assemble the buggy body. It's uh, quite easy but I figured uh, why not make a video about it. You start out with this, uh, with these five pieces. They should all be printable on uh, any printer with uh, at least 20 centimeter squared volume or surface. Uh, these are in a modified PLA. Uh, despite being PLA, they haven't shown any cracks or breaks, despite my complete and utter lack of driving skills. So I figure it's enough to print them in PLA, but if you have uh, ABS or PETG or something, that might be an even better choice. Some support is required for these parts, but it should be quite easy to remove if you have the right settings for the support because you print it like this, standing up and uh, this overhang tends to need uh, some support and this little bracket or whatever also needs some uh, you can print this with like one perimeter uh, no infill to make sure it stays flexible lessens the chance of it breaking when you crash it let's put it together then it's meant to go just click together like this, or well not click but smush together. Um, I did not design this to stay like this, so you will need to put some glue uh, along the edge here. You could put the glue on the mating surfaces before you push it together as well. You do not need a lot of glue, just a few clicks of epoxy or super glue or something will make this stick together. Due to the rear shock tower extending so much, uh, this part could not be designed as one, one piece with the rest of it. So I made some snap fittings for this one. After you have glued this together and uh, put it on the buggy chassis, you would come in with this piece and uh, kind of click it in place. There you go. It kind of sticks there due to how this is printed. Everything is printed uh, orienting upwards. So the layers themselves uh, kind of lock together. You also have this rear wing. This part was also designed to use support under here. But since it's a very flat surface, it should be easy to remove. This requires a little bit of support under here. But as well, it's a very flat surface. It's easy to get to, so it shouldn't be a big problem and you snap them together it's probably gonna fly off uh, if you crash if you don't glue it together so I would definitely recommend putting some glue on there and then this has slots as well for it there you go complete rear end I would also recommend gluing that because yeah it doesn't snap fit that well that's basically the entire body ready to go onto the chassis. My bug is a bit beaten up right now, so one of my wheels is a bit loose. It should be fine for demonstrating. You have these four points here, uh, which uses uh, M3 by 16 screws. And the body just goes on top, forward first. And can be a little bit tricky get it in here, but it will fit. Flip it upside down and uh, screw it in. Alright, once you got those screws in place, uh, everything should be pretty much ready for the rear part of it. Uh, like, like I said before, this uh, is intended to be glued together before you screw it on, but for demonstrative purposes it works fine. Then you put on the rear end, and just click it in place, uh, make sure it goes and clears everything at the rear, and you're ready to drive. I think this entire body uh, printed in PLA was around 100 grams or something, so despite being almost 2 millimeters thick, it is uh, fairly light, I think. And like I said, it hasn't broken so far. So thank you for this time.